All right, what am I doing? All right, we have a ton of stuff that we're fighting today. Tons of stuff. I think I said seven in total, because there's these five, six, and then the urgent. Yeah, we have seven hunts to do today. I am holding a lance. Lance users don't get excited. I will probably swap it out. Oh, let's give it a fair shot first, though. Why not? Against the monster that can poison me and kill me easily. Why not? Okay. I should probably get myself familiar with the moveset again. This is too complicated. I know there's a... Yeah, there it is. Can I charge that? Wait a minute. Oh, I can. Two levels. Alright. And then this is pretty much the same thing, but I can't combo. What the heck? That looks like some kind of delayed counterattack or something. Does this do anything? Oh, yep. Um. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, what do these do? Some type of kunai move. Okay. I have to wait for my... my bug. Try this one out. Oh, that one also only takes one wire bug. Okay. Well, that seems pretty simple. You know what that means? The simpler the weapon, the harder it is to master. <laughs> Oh, I have to remember to take a picture of fish, too. That might sound really random, but I've been trying to figure out- uh, fill out the... Hunter notebook with actual pictures of things. It's not a great picture, is it? None of those were either. <laughs> All of these are horrible. It's okay, we can get a better one later. For now, I'm just trying to fill them out. I don't even know what I need. I might put a clip of this in this video, um, because it's my video, damn it. And I was at the volcano, and suddenly the screeching sound started happening, and I was freaking out because I didn't know what it was. Apparently there's this really cool looking ultra rare bird that shows up over there. I say ultra rare, I don't know how rare it is, but yeah. So that's pretty cool. Besides the monk snail, I didn't know there was any more that was, like, super rare. Kinda makes me wonder what else there is. Well, okay, speaking of that, in the Hunter Notes, the notebook, I went through and I followed a guide. I'm sorry, but I got sick and tired of looking. <laughs> but I found the relics, all of the relics, and one of these, I think it's the Flooded Forest one. Yeah, the feline. It talks about how he left a bunch of meat in one area and a legendary giant fish jumped out at him. Like, I don't know if that's a hint. I don't know why it would be. It doesn't seem like there's hunts, hints to anything like that in the other relic accounts, but... Hi, Puke Puke. Poke. 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 Can I block your roar? Ooh, I can. Every lance user just went, duh, you can block the world with a shield. <laughs> that Bullfingo is a hero. Thank you for your service, Bullfingo. You're probably gonna die now, but... Yep, he just died. <laughs> oh! Wait a minute. He completed my side quest by doing that. Alright, Bullfingo. That was a ton. Do you mind? I'm trying to have a funeral here. For our fallen hero. Completing my quest. Taking the hits for me. Kind of a legend, him. That is a counterattack. Nice. Ooh, you gotta be careful when you do that, though. Because if I do that on a move that he has a follow-up with, or one that hits multiple times, I have a feeling that I'm gonna get hit anyways. <laughs> what was I just saying? I don't want to be judgy or anything, Puke Puke, but... If the wind coming out of your backside is purple, you might want to go see a vet. Ooh, side hops are actually far away enough to avoid stuff like that. Probably not for the later monsters. I didn't look up anti-dobras. Anti Did I say that right? I didn't say it right in the last episode. I think I called it an anti-obra. There's actually a D in there. Anti-dobra. Which I guess makes sense. Antidote. I wonder if I can do a counterattack on the roar. 
Probably. So, I can't help but notice the kunai's not doing anything. For a moment I thought it might just pull me around, like keep me close to the monster. Oh, hi Bishatin. I'm at low health and still poisoned. I do not need a Bishatin right now. Watch your health. Yeah, I do need to watch my health. I need this first. I should be fine. Bishatin, I need you to work for me. Okay, now Puke is poisoned. Oh. Okay, side straw on the superior. There we go. Do I always have to take a step? Yeah, I do. Even when I'm on neutral. I should probably check to see what that kunai move, kunai move is doing. Twin vine. Okay, jabs the kunai into the target to get its attention. While the kunai is lodged into the target, press LT and B. Let's you leap toward the monster while guarding. Okay. Oh. I'll take you. Thank you very much. Puke Puke is leaving. The little bastard. I'm kind of surprised I haven't paralyzed him yet. Uh, in my defense. I have no idea what I'm doing with Lance. That's my defense. Okay, now what was it? Was it this? Nope. It was... This. Okay, there we go. I've done the wrong thing. So that is so I can keep distance. It's just not automatic. Proximity, I guess, is the better word to use there. I just got poisoned like an idiot. Can you get paralyzed? I'm starting to feel like this weapon is useless. <laughs> not the lance part, but the para para paralysis. Got there in the end. Oh, hey. I just remembered. Yeah, you might notice that there's a input display on the screen now, right above my items. I'd rather not have your gas. Thank you very much. Ah. <laughs> I just tried to do the old school trick of turning around and then back hopping. Yeah, I don't know how effective that is in Gen 5. <laughs> kind of feel like I don't move as much as I used to. I messed around with Lance a few times in OG, but I've never really used it. Never really understood it. Mm. Shield. Shield. Okay. Jeez. Please charge me. Okay. Fine. I'll poke you in the face. Oh. Well. Nice GG. Did he leave? You little... <laughs> Alright, well, I still pluck the snake, so I'm gonna eat it. Do you eat it? No. He just farts, and his fart fumes cure you of poison, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, some of the other bigger channels that I watch always have input, input displays up on screen. And when I found this one, I got this one off of itch.io if I remember correctly. It was a long time ago that I had it. You might recognize it from the retro series that I do. It's the very same plugin. Well, not plugin. It's a program. What am I doing? Why am I trying to stab him? That's not what I'm supposed to be doing. Get, get back here. Come here now. Step forward. Oh, that works. But yeah, I just really like the design of this input display, so I decided to just go ahead and use it. If it's annoying or it gets in the way too often, I might stop using it, but... I don't think he ever got paralyzed. Paralysis. Three star. Three star effectiveness. He never got... Paralyzed. 
whatever, doesn't matter. I might practice more with Lance at some point, but right now I'm missing my hunting horn. Never thought I'd be saying those words. Hmm, there's two new species out here. One of them's gonna be Samnikanth, I haven't fought him yet. What would the other one be? It's too early for Baryoth, right? Probably the coolest endemic life ever. Looking at the monk snail, talking about endemic life, I'm pretty sure somebody Except told me a while here. back that every single area has a rare endemic life. That would have been a, a while back. I think that was a comment on a lore or a discussion video or something. Alright, whatever's in area 6 just was flying. So that's not our target. Somnicans can't fly. Yep, there he is. Sup, Somnicans? Bonk. I don't like how I'm bouncing off of his head. What's even hard on his head? His flappy fish skin. Alright, he's already poisoned. Please don't. Oh, I wasn't expecting you to come over here. Are you trying to leave? No. Close the distance. Jeez. Stop it. Alright. Now he's leaving. Oh. No he's not. Hi Baggy. Hey Baggy, would you like to work for me for a second? You're hired. Voluntold. Try to get a third one in. Okay. Bonk. Oh, I'm pushing all the wrong buttons. Okay. Hi! Oh my goodness, it is Barry off. Okay. You had to go into Wyvern Ride mode while the. Ugh. Whatever. I made it. It's okay. Alright. Well, this feels like brutalizing a little bit, if I'm being honest. Is he asleep? What the heck? I kind of want to capture him, and I'm afraid Barrios is going to absolutely murder him, so I'm just going to launch him. I didn't mean to launch him into Sonic. <laughs> I didn't grab more traps. I need traps. I know I don't have to capture everything. I just like to. It's more satisfying to me to get a capture than it is to just outright kill the monster. Barry off. Can I trouble you for a picture real quick? Jeez, you're big. Remobra, get a life. I got a swarm of Remobra being a pain in the ass. AKA Remobra doing what Remobra does. Turn around. There you go. That might actually be a really good one. I'm afraid it might be a little blurry though. Thank you for the pictures. Big fan. No, no. <sighs> it's okay. I'm bouncing off of him, really. This is gonna be one downside to doing chaos only. The thresholds for upgrades are very few and far between. So I'm gonna be stuck on a yellow sharpness weapon until pretty much high rank. All right, get the weapon out. Is he gonna spit at me? No, he's leaving. All right, well, I'm just gonna spam this for a little while. Hi, this is free heals. But yeah, the next upgrade for this weapon is actually in high rank, and I need Shade Shrooms for it. And only then will I have Green Sharpness. So, like yay. I also just remembered I have to fight a Baryoth. Or a Biserios. That's gonna be a nightmare. Cross that bridge when we get there, I guess. Push it out of your head. 
I have a big enough problem as it is. I tried. <clears throat> okay, he's poisoned. I need your feet to break, dude. <gasps> I think I just iframed that. All Somnic cans, please. Thank you. I'm surprised we came out on top with this. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Okay, thank goodness. Bye -bye. You crash into him, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I'm missing the squids. Damn it. I'm missing the squids again. Damn it. Again. Hey, I know what you're trying to do. Never mind. I don't know what you're trying to do. Okay, that's one foot down. Uh, why are you back swinging? Oh my goodness. I gotta learn the moveset. I keep positioning myself further away from him. Okay. Was that his foot or just his wing? His claws are broken. Okay, I think I got his foot too. running was with his feet broken that'll be a lot easier of a fight to win now oh hey I am gonna sit here and feel pleased with myself even though I didn't mean to do that or I mean I totally meant to do that everything I do is intentional so uh, wasn't even worried about it. Uh-oh. I took that hit intentionally. Yeah, you're struggling. Yeah, I'm struggling. Doink. I'm forgetting about my wire bug moves. No, thank you. Can I do this one? No, I can't. What does this do? Doink. Oh. Wow. Did you see how much damage that did? That's like five overhead hits. And now he's KO'd. Dude, Hunting Horn is... Hunting Horn is really good. I need to redo my weapon tier list, don't I? And it is. Ugh. It's a little blurry. That kind of sucks. I am just a conglomerate mess of armor at the moment. Did I grab another trap? No, I'm big dumb. I wonder what the speed run of this game looks like. <gasps> Hi, poison frog. Sorry, poison toad. Pookie, pookie. All I went to the wrong icon because I'm very big dumb. Should leave before I get there. Mark my words. Okay. Aggro, stay. Thank you. Why am I trying to iframe the roll or the roar? Ouch. Mm, 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 mm. Yep, I brought poison of my own. Can can you like There we go. You know what? I could have done a uh switch skill. There we go. Oh, nice. Goodness. I 
flinched again? Oh my goodness, Hunting Horn is insane. I mean, this is strange. I'm starting to get just as comfortable with this weapon as I am with dual blades. The only other weapon I can say that about is Sword and Shield. Maybe it's just because Hunting Horn still feels really fast and nimble. I like the nimble weapons. Yeah, I'm taking that straight to the face. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm gonna die. We're fine. Gas. Please gas. Oh, it's one of these deals. Okay. Put the other one down. I don't know how long they last, but I'm not risking this. It's already embarrassing and I was in uh, that much of a desperate situation. <laughs> I certainly don't want to die to a freaking low ranked Raytheon. I'd have to have my guild card revoked. Why are you just holding still? Oh, you're doing the rest animation. Okay. <laughs> that was weird. Help. Oh, you're tired, so you have no fire. These Eskirgos last for freaking ever. I need to be doing the switch skill, please. Oh, alright. I was rideable with, like, no walls around. Sorry, she. I said he. Doink. Is there a doink here? There is a doink here. Uh, is it this way somewhere? I missed the pitfall. Dang it. I can do this again though. Doink. That's another 150 damage. Right for capture. Yeah, you can't exactly take off on yourself, find. Just so you, you know, so you know for next time. Not that there's gonna be one. I don't feel comfortable saying that I have a new main, but it is starting to feel like that's a possibility in the future. <laughs> So I'm kind of trying to put together like this extremely preemptive and probably not useful to even be trying to figure this out right now kind of build for endgame. I'm kind of thinking about the fact that Mandragora being max potions instantly heals me. And it kind of makes me wonder if I should take whatever the skill name is that increases your damage and defense when you're at low health. Because it's not like I would be downing a Mandragora when I only have a quarter of my health bar missing. I would pretty much only be doing it while at low health. So I might be at low health pretty commonly. Or, actually, should I be thinking of that the other way around? Since I can still get blue mushrooms, there's no harm in that. And maybe go for maximum might and peak performance instead. Well, I was trying to move, but I buffered too many moves, I guess. I mean, with the... With the input display, now I'm going to be self-conscious about it, bringing it up, but... <laughs> with the input display, you can see exactly how much I spam buttons. Like, even to do just one thing, I find myself smacking the button multiple times. Toby Kodachi, this is why no one likes you. Jeez. I would be very surprised to find out that Toby Kodachi is anybody's favorite monster. I actually don't even know why they brought him back. I guess they put a lot of money into making this model. They wanted to make sure they got their money's worth. I don't know. I mean, he's not even redeemable with his subspecies when you think about it because it was Viper Toby Kodachi, which is pretty much unanimously, unanimously, geez, decided as one of the worst subspecies of all time. Prey is weak, ripe for capture. This will be the one and only time in your miserable existence you hold still for more than three seconds. Go to sleep. Jeez. I try not to give him too much flack. There are far more annoying monsters, but he's definitely on the list of annoying ones. At least somewhere. <laughs> like, no damage. Everybody loves roars. That's why they gave you an extra long one. 
I mean, I can probably attack his wings, I guess. Nope, can't even hit those. Cool. Why are you backswinging? Oh, because you only do the overhead when I'm holding the stick. No wonder. Okay, hold on. I got these bats to explode. Oh, they might right now, actually. That would have made sense. I guess it would have been too easy. I have never felt the need to supplement damage with kunai like this before. <laughs> you know, is he soft right now? Because he's warmed up? Oh, he is! Uh, Renopolis, you are not helping. What are you doing? Nothing, I guess. <laughs> oh, nice. Alright, let's try to do this. Or at least give us that. Dang, dude, you almost got me with that one. I shouldn't have smack-talked him. <laughs> Doink. Mm, he tried to roar. I skipped it, though. Ooh, something actually came out that time. Why don't you just stay right there, dude? I think we'd all prefer this ending. Jeez. I have fought one of him before. I was in a expedition. And I wasn't even thinking. I just started fighting him. <laughs> but that was with bow and arrow. That was much easier with the bow. I mean, how long did that take? Eight minutes? I mean, that wasn't too bad. All the deflections made it feel like it was taking forever, but I guess it wasn't really all that bad. So on the list of things we're not allowed to use is deodorant, so we're really gonna have to try to make sure that we're not getting gassed. Because I will have no way to do anything about it. The other thing that he does that's kind of a pain, he likes to paralyze, which can just compound into a lot of damage very quickly if I'm not careful, so... I mean, the point of the game is to not get hit at all, but of the moves we really don't want to be hit by. Oh, I forgot. I did the switch skill thing. I now do damage when I dodge, but my dodges are shorter. I kind of forgot about that. It is really powerful, though. Ouch. You're gonna go for ton again. You're getting predictable. All the done. I mean, since you're just gonna sit there and fart for a while, I'm just gonna do this. I didn't do a ton of damage, did it? Uh, okay. Renopolis, you're not helping. Don't be here. Okay. <sighs> I don't know what you keep doing, Porcini, but please keep doing it. That feels like that ought to be close enough for the melee thing. I might switch that switch scale back to the way it normally is. That feels a little bit useless. I'm going after it. There's probably some, like, hardcore close range bow people that uh would love that skill but I might set it up as a blue scroll later that sounds like something fun to experiment with at that point 
That's a long ways down the road, though. It does feel like the damage is worth it, but it kind of sucks that takes my entire dodge move. Let's just try putting close quarter, close range, whatever the heck it is, coding on it. Let's just see here for a second. Hmm, I think that is doing extra damage. Alright, let's GG. Kind of a slow fight, this one. Um, are you sure? I remember my first time playing through this game that this felt like a major skill curve all of a sudden. Mm, okay, well... I think I want Hunting Horn for this one. I hate this so much. He's not an Elder Dragon, right? No, you can definitely capture. I'm glad I answered myself. Alright, I gave Porcini and Creamini racy and stuff. Hopefully they'll poison her. Hopefully. Please. Please poison her. I think I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna go grab some Eskirgo and Antidobras before we actually fight Magnamalo. I just feel like this is gonna be a battle of attrition pretty much straight up, so... It's only Akbasam and Azuchi that's out here. I thought there was a... Okay, well... I thought there was a Puke Puke. Okay, I guess we don't need Antidobras after all. Mandragora, I really wish I could use you right now. That would make me a lot more comfortable. <laughs> more Eskirgo, thank you very much. I think I've stalled long enough. Hey, Great Azuchi, can you get in on this, like, right away? Doink. Wait, is that actually what we're doing? <laughs> okay, sure. I'm gonna let Azuchi take a hit so that I can replenish spirit, spirit wire bird bug things. Okay. Let's try to get two more of these in before we call it two, three, okay. <sighs> now if I could just have Agnesum come over here, that would be really nice. But instead, I'm gonna do this. Don't you dare get in the way, Azuchi. <laughs> He's mad! Okay, that's fine. Are you leaving? Okay. Was? <laughs> Never mind the fact that I was panicking about five seconds ago. He's the wuss. I don't want to hear it. Attack spear butt, bug, bird, thing. Lily, bug, spirit, bug, spirit, bird, hell, bird. Uh, they're, yeah. It's not good for my cortisol ridden brain. I already have a hard enough time remembering literally anything. Uh-huh. Most of his moves don't do that much damage to me. It's only the ones that explode that are kind of a pain. He is poisoned, so that's nice. And he's running again. I don't remember him being this skittish. Like, is this fight going well, or am I just not remembering correctly? My money's on the ladder. I dodged into it. Nope, we're fine. Also, you are paralyzed. Break the face? Dang it. Oh, shoot. It's getting ready to dive. It's all good. Ouch. Don't be here. Don't be here either. Okay. 
I don't know why I was holding still. See, those are the things that are gonna trip me up. Because it was definitely recovery frames. Can you put the weapon away, please? Thank you. Can you eat a little bit faster? You don't have to admire the mushroom before you eat it. Jeez. I wonder if Speed Eater affects Mushroom Mancer. I would think not. Mainly because of the balancing with Mandragora. <laughs> Okay, you're gonna go up in the air, and I'm gonna be not too late. Okay. So to my left, I just couldn't tell if it was too far away or not. I didn't want to risk it. You done? He's weak. What? All right. Well. Just stand right there, then. Thank you. It was fun. Alright. On one hand, that was a little bit of a pain. On the other hand, that was nowhere near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Alright. Well, how many blue mushrooms did we go through? Six. Alright. Well. Yeah. That wasn't bad. That doesn't... That doesn't mean we're in high rank now, does it? Wait. I can't skip this. Okay, well... How's the weather where you're at? That's what people talk about when they don't know what else to talk about. They're just bringing up the weather. I'm not gonna make you sit through this. I'm just gonna, yeah. He defeated Magnamalo. Yeah, 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 I know. It's kind of weird that we had a credit sequence there considering like we've accomplished nothing. The rampage has not solved, have been solved. No elder dragons have been taken down. Uh, before I tell them to train again, Actually, I wonder how many people know about this. Probably everybody, but if you come to the back of this tree right here, it's on the back side of the shrine. If you go to the, f the back side and then you climb these vines, there's actually a Kohoot nest up here. And sometimes you can get lagmi apples from it. And I didn't get a single one, but I did get a trap tool, so that's nice. But yeah, it's kind of worth it to go up there and check that first before you do anything else. You might get lagging apples that you can use pretty much instantly. Oh, I can activate it now. It's a scroll. Is it like a new move or something? Because that looks like the scrolls that the dog uses. The palamute. Obtained a blueprint for a buddy weapon. Uh, I don't know which buddy it would be. Maybe it didn't specify because it's both a weapon, though. Does that mean it would be on the list all by itself? Oh. What the heck? Wow, it's pretty good. It does sleep damage, though. Sleep element. I mean, that's right on the same equipment tier as the Magnamala stuff. We can make it. Oh, he does have one. Okay. I can make them both. With a little. Why not? It's buddy tickets. That's the rarest thing it costs. It's not bad. So I guess we're going immediately into high rank. I'm pretty sure... Yes, 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 yes. Who's gonna give me the sword? Dude, you're very observant. Okay. Uh, are we not out of low rank? We're not out of low rank. Okay. Never mind. We're not out of low rank. <laughs> Looks like we're at the end, though ish but we have done all quests up to this point though so all right well i will make sure to do all of these secondary quests oh uh, that will be well there's only five key quests they're all new monsters oh wow there really isn't that many hunt quests or side quests rather just a like three duos that's it all right, well, I'll do those off camera. None of these are new monsters. I mean, the Anjanath is there, but we're gonna have to fight the Anjanath by himself anyways. We will do these five and then the six, which will be the urgent mission in the next episode. For now, that's gonna be it. So, as always, thanks for watching. Like and share the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you wanna see more. Check out everything else we do. We do a lot more than just Monster Hunter. But more importantly, I just hope that you have a great day and I'll see you in the next episode. See ya.